Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think that all of us got the message tonight that we live in very serious times with crime at a very unacceptable level. And we watched in very graphic detail our brothers, our sisters, our neighbors as they are affected in their everyday life by criminal activity. But as the movie showed that we, could, we can do something about it. You know, we talk about hanging the murderers. And yes, once the law allows us to do so, and once the process of appeals are completed, we will do so. This is my second premiere in two days. <laughs> However, last night's premiere was about featuring the Bahamas today on the international stage. Tonight's premiere is about featuring the Bahamas tomorrow on the international stage. Yeah. I say this without fear of contradiction that in this room, we have the first, the next two Oscar winners in this room. I ain't gonna show who's first, but the next two Oscar winners for the Bahamas is in this room. And that's gonna be best director, best actor, straight across the board, and I really feel that. The overrated, the overrated highly anticipated, highly anticipated Mr. Prime Mr. Prime Minister is here. Mr. Prime Minister, listen to me We need to stop the blood on our streets The first of its kind ever produced in the Bahamas Mini movie, music video I don't have anything to say but justice Justice? What is justice? Justice needs to be served to those men Mr. Prime Minister is undeniable an eye opener Wait, 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 Join Mr. Controversy Utah Taylor in his crusade against crime. Well, I just want to I want to commend Utah on a job well done. It's it's people like Utah who are going to inspire other Bahamians, inspire the future Bahamian artists and the and current Bahamian artists to succeed and to do a good job uh, and, and really strive for their dreams. So I want to congratulate Utah. I think he did an excellent job, and I want to keep encouraging him to keep climbing that mountain because he has what it takes to get to the top. Uh, congratulations, Utah, and, and um, I'm here to support you. Uh, this is boy, Sean, eh? the police officer, the first infinity police officer, along part with my boy right here, Officer Clark right here. Yeah, we just want to say, man, Utah, you did a great job. You did a great job. Man, I can't, I can't wait till next. The next movie we be looking forward to be working with you. You got to call the, you got to call the stunt driver, man. That's the stunt driver. Yeah, stunt driver right there, eh? Only one thing to say, don't drop the gun. <laughs> I think the crime situation is getting worse, and it's good that he's doing a movie like this, and I hope that after people see it, it would have an impact in slowing the crime rate down. We, we here with one of the stars of tonight's show, Mr. Prime Minister. Uh, tell us, uh, what was your role in this uh, production? Well, you know, I play the um, National Security, mm -hmm. Minister of National Security. I, I mean, it was a good experience though, trust me. Um, you, I saw the preview on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So far, I kind of anticipating it a lot because I need to see what we did, trust mm -hmm. me. So what's your opinion of the crime situation in the country? Man, I said this a million times over, right? Crime need to be under control, right? And Personally, I don't think the government, right, doing their best trying to, um, you know what I mean, get crime under control. Because for me, right, I don't think, with this new um, police commissioner and now, 
right? Um, I waiting to see what he's doing. But the last one didn't do what he's supposed to do, man. Crime way out of the control. So, do you think this uh, picture is going to have an impact on crime in the Bahamas? Most definitely. I you know mean, most definitely because um, from what I've seen so far, right? Utah did a wonderful job. You know what I mean, portraying, right? Um, what us as regular people got to go through. I you know mean, um, to see well, okay, um, so much murder. I mean, so much stupid violence, right? I think this would actually go far with um, opening the government's eye, open the people's eyes to what's going on. Uh, thank you, man. Because I believe uh, that we have the power as, as individuals, so as family, and as government, and as church, to really solve crime. Uh, all of us has the, the, the power and the opportunity to do this by taking charge of ourselves, our family, our community. Uh, but it was a very uh, powerful movie, uh, and I think that uh, he did a very uh, good uh, job uh, in it. And so I'm looking forward for some to see what the effect, and that we can get a message for those who saw the movie.